Yeah, that's what's up. And you know, you were talking about Knife Wonder, so I, I actually wanted to know um, how did you and, and Knife Wonder uh, first meet? Um, uh, we, I was um, uh, on an album, uh, Sky Zoo's album, uh, The Salvation. I had like three songs on there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I had been out to New York like um, once before for like Torre's release like Daily Operation so I already knew like Torre yeah. and I think I had met Sky Zoo through Torre but anyway so there, there was the release party for that album and Ninth was on Torre's album and he was on Sky's album but he's he was appearing at like Pete Rock came to Torre's uh, release party but at Sky's like Ninth was there and uh, I knew he was going to be there and I like he like inspired me to uh, start because he's so resourceful like he's like the pioneer of like yeah. loops, pretty much you know so it's like oh, yeah. that whole idea of like being like like it doesn't matter what you use like I still yeah. do that to, I play all my stuff now on like a children's drum set you know just because it's like it's like physical fruity loops but like uh like yeah just just i was attracted to that like it's like it's like we're attracted to like attainability or something you know like like yeah. there's something about being dope but being flawed at the same time not flawed but you know what i mean like just not giving a fuck right you know? right and keep yeah. keeping the music raw like you know and doing it your it, way it makes it be like i could do that probably or whatever if i'm musical i could like, not that you think you can but you're just so hyped that you're just like i should use a computer man he did he did, yeah. he did a fucking beat society with a tower computer like a dell you know right it's... not a dell the white lady but a dell computer you know right yeah but so so i was on that album with him so i knew he was gonna be at that thing and then when i got there he like put his arm around me there's like a picture of it on on google or something but like he was just like uh He's like, this guy right here, that was like the best song on the album, like best beats, or, or best beat. And I'm uh -huh. like, that's tight. And his arms are and stuff. And like, he's like, uh, uh, I don't know, just taking pictures with him and stuff. The, the air always has been for like, you'd never expect by looking at him. That's what everyone said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but like, uh, yeah, dude, I just met him there and then I was, so hyped like that after that i was like ah because like it was like the coolest <laughs> moment so after that i moved to new york and then i uh lived there for a little bit and then i would since i've made that connection like and i've been sending stuff to like uh remo and rhapsody and shit like uh -huh. that back then and crisis too i had met him at like a um i guess sean or a book uh buckshot show i think but uh in seattle but like uh in new york they would be there more frequently because it's like it's a hub you know from north carolina yeah, yeah and so like whenever they'd come there i'd make it a point to like show up at the event or like whatever just because like you know we already have like a you know i'm already working with the artists and stuff and then eventually throughout doing that in new york he called me and like signed me to the, his thing or like he was just like welcome to the soul council whatever and i was like hell yeah <laughs> and then uh oh, <laughs> and then <laughs> every new york, every new york visit after that he just basically like be like when you gonna come to carolina man like say and move there and so eventually mm -hmm. it, i like got worn out and i just like went to north carolina and i lived there for like three or four years where did you live at before you um before you had first moved to new york uh seattle and, and I was born in Auburn, Washington. It's like South Seattle, south of Seattle. Okay. Yeah. 